Hello and welcome back to Mark's Garden UK at Rose Cottage near Nantwich in Cheshire. It's the middle of November. It's been incredibly mild so far. We've not even had a frost yet, but I do know that frost is just around the corner. So I will be getting around to protecting some of the plants in my exotic border very soon. I'm also going to embark on a temperature experiment. I'm going to build a hotbed and you'll be able to see that hotbed video on my channel and I will link it at the end of this one. But I'm intrigued and fascinated as to whether or not hotbeds actually work. I'm also interested in whether mulching the soil has any effect on its temperature. So I've bought a little thermometer. Now this is one of those thermometers that you buy for your kitchen. And I have to tell you that this was less than a fiver. It's a real cheap one, but it does work because I've already tested it and it's got a probe on it. And essentially what you do is if you're in the kitchen, you'd stick that into the middle of your joints of meat and it would tell you whether it was cooked in the center. But today I'm going to have a little bit of an interesting experiment with this. I'm going to put it in one of those mole hills to my right, see what the soil temperature is. I'm going to put it in that grass pile to my left see what the temperature in there is. I'm also going to put it in a couple of my plant pots, see what the temperature in the plant pots is. But then, really just to test thermometer and what effect um, decaying vegetation and microorganisms have, I'm going to go to my neighbor's manure heap and I'm going to put it in the manure heap and see what the temperature is like in the middle of a pile of horse manure because it's that horse manure that I'll be using as a basis to construct my hotbed. So let's get started. Uh, let's turn this on. Let's go over to a molehill. Then let's go over to the grass heap. Let's get some recordings. Then let's go and do some recordings in a plant pot. And then finally, let's see what the temperature's like in the middle of a manure pile. Now this was dead cheap. It was less than a fiver. You might have one of these in your kitchen and I'm not suggesting you go and put your kitchen one into a manure pile. Uh, but for the sake of this experiment, I'm very happy with this one. Um, and I will put a link to that in the description box below this video, an Amazon link. So if you buy that, I will receive a small commission and it will be a very small commission because that was less than a fiver. I'll put a link to uh, some plant thermometers as well on that in that description box as well, just in case you're interested. And, and of course, anything that you buy pays me a commission and then I can spend that on projects around the garden. Let's turn this on. It's very easy. It's got four little buttons there. And let's put it into this soil here and record the temperature of the soil at ground level. And in it goes. And we can see there that the soil temperature is currently 9.7, but it's kind of wavering a little bit. 9.7, 9.6. So that's in that mole hill. So let's take it out. And then just for the purposes of demonstration, I'll keep my eye on it and I've taken it out and see if it changes the air temperature. It's dropping for some reason. Strange. So are we suggesting therefore that air temperature is cooler than soil temperature? Well, I suppose it could be. Let's put it back in again. Now to me, that's very interesting. Ground temperature is higher than the air temperature. Why is that interesting to me? Well, because it supports the idea that you can actually do hardwood holly cuttings at this time of year, put them in the ground and the residual heat in the ground will help them to start produce roots. So that's wonderful. The ground temperature is nearly 10 degrees. Let's go over to the grass heap and see if there's an increase in temperature because of some microbial decay action. Now, since removing that from that molehill, it's adjusted itself back to air temperature, which is currently showing as 7.1 degrees. I'll bring it there. Hopefully you can see 7.1 on the screen. It's actually dropped to seven. Let's see what it goes to when I push it into this grass pile, which has actually been sitting here for a couple of months now. If I push that down in there, let's see whether it goes up. 
it's shooting up 8.3 8.5 8.7 8.9 9.9.2 9.3 9.5 9.7 9.8 9.9 10 it's gone above 10 degrees 10.2 10.3 let me bring the camera in so that you can see it 11.2 11.4 so it's 11.5 it's going up gradually and slowly I'm probably going to leave that there a minute so that I can get a final reading. That's fascinating. It seems to have settled on 11.9. So the air temperature of 7 and in this soggy old wet grass heap, 12 degrees. 5 degrees higher in that soggy old grass heap. And the soggy old grass heap is higher than the soil. That will be because of the microbes decomposing that grass, creating heat as part of that process. I'm now very interested in trees to know what the temperature in a pile of horse muck is going to be. So we'll wander next door. We'll try it out. 12.1 here. Whilst we're here, we might as well see how hot or how cold the pond is. Well, let's just pop that in there. 8.6. If you're going to do that, be careful that you don't stick that through your pond line. 8.6 in the water. Now immediately, as I've taken that out of the grass pile, which you can see behind me, it started to readjust. It's really quite sensitive, this. It's already dropped to 9 degrees. So we'll take it next door. Now my neighbours next door, Rod and Vix, are the same neighbours who hand-built hand the shepherd's hut, which I did a, a video about. So if you want to have a look at their shepherd's hut, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. Here I am at the muck heap. This is a combination of horse manure, hay, uh, some wood chip from their hens and some grass cutting. So it's a good mix of nitrogen and carbon. It's a soggy, damp, cold lump. It doesn't look particularly pleasant, if I'm honest, and it doesn't smell pleasant standing here. Let's see how we get on with this thermometer when we stick it in the centre of this muck heap and find out what the temperature is going to be in there. I'll push it down as deep as I can. It's racing up 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, this is unbelievable. 19, 20, 21, 22. It's gone up to 22 degrees already. That's incredible. Can you remember what the air temperature was? I think it was seven. That's now reading 22.5 and still going up slowly. It slowed down. The grass pile, I think, was, was it 12? I can't remember. This is 22.6. Let's get a few more readings and we'll take an average. So, are you ready for this? There it is, 7.3, 7.4. Let's stick it in the manure and see what happens. It's going quite rapidly from 16, 17, 18. I wasn't lying, was I? It's going up to 19. This is unbelievable and quite remarkable. Now, my objective is to build a hotbed. And on top of that hotbed, I'm going to be putting some plants, which I've just divided, and some seedlings, which I hope to grow on, and possibly some seeds to propagate. And I'm hoping that this method of heating underneath the soil will speed up and accelerate and support that process. But as you can see there, it's still rising. Gradually, it's gone up to 21 on this occasion. Is it just me or is that fascinating? 22 degrees temperature in horse muck. Don't forget, you can buy that on the description box below this video. I'll put the link. Of course, any profits I make go back into the garden. So it's very much appreciated. How hot is horse muck? I'll put the link to the shepherd's hut video and the hotbed video at the end of this one. I've not made the hotbed yet. So if you're watching this immediately, it won't be there yet, but it will be soon. I'll see you soon for some more Mark's Garden UK 
muck heap temperature adventures bye for now